Well, good morning, everybody. Kilt here. It is morning of day 94. Getting a great fresh start and a beautiful weather day. Whoa, all up in the face. There we go. Pushing north today. Gonna make an attempt to make Duncannon, but not making any promises. It is what it is. We'll get as far as we get. And uh, we'll go from there. But we are pushing north. One step at a time, one day at a time. Still fighting this head cold. It's a little bit better so far today. Slept great last night. Didn't get up once. That's rare. And uh, we are on trail. We got some more flat land this morning. Then we got a climb. Two big climbs today. We'll see how big they actually end up being. But that's about all I got right now. So let me get you turned around. Show you this lovely terrain we've got this morning. And the forecast is dry and decent weather today. Changes up a little bit tomorrow. But by then we should be pushed out of this area and a, a little further, further northeast of it. So I know you're tired of looking at me and hearing me. So here's the trail. Hope you got that cup of coffee. I already had mine, so let's get pushing north, y'all. So he just popped out of the trail right there, the wood line, and there is this Amish. Uh, fresh produce and vegetable stand. She had Gatorade, she had blueberries, she had cherries. She had everything. Gatorades, water, plus all the corn and cauliflower, and you name it. But it's early in the morning and I don't need none of that stuff, unfortunately. But it was awesome that they're here and they're open and they're doing it. But we're gonna go up here over this overpass and uh, I'll see if any you can guess what what highway that is that we got to go over. It may or may not be one of the same ones that we've been going over and under and over and under since Southern Virginia. I'll let you know when we get to the top. So there we go. That's right, Interstate 81 again. And that's the Carlisle exit. This little house here in the corner of his yard. He's got like a little league, little fence. Little outfielder's fence set up in his front yard. Super nice. Looks like we're gonna go down here to this tree line. Hang a right. And get off the road. So I believe in the next few miles, I don't know if you can pull it out in the background, but that mountain range, or that mountain top ridge line, is what we'll be going up and over today. That's about five and a half miles from here. All right, let's get a move on. Crossing over. That's right, you know the drill where bridges. When we cross a bridge with water, we gotta film it. We got someone playing with the rocks, making a little weir down there, a little fishing thing. It's a nice little stream, creek. And we're gonna walk river left for a while all the way toward that mountain out there. We'll be hugging the left shoreline of this creek for a while, so. We were on the 
Opposite side, now we'll cross over on the bridge. Oh, here's a here's another new newer less less used navigation. I'll take a load of this. So the double stack and offset means turn, but how sharp do you turn? Well, that one says do a U-turn. Boom. There's our trail. And we'll go on to the bridge. And if it wasn't still early in the morning, I might stop for a swim, but. Not right now, not today. It's kind of cool, going through the tunnel. It was different. <laughs> flowers wow okay a lot of those red things weird a flower or weed either way pretty colorful there's our blaze still on trail Oh, that, all right, so that's route 944. Either there wasn't one or I didn't see it. Sign going the other direction. Let's keep pushing north. Here we are, almost at the top of our first big climb of two today. And our first good view. We haven't had a view in a while. Probably because we've been down there in that flatland that whole time. Going from one mountain range to the next. And we got a plane overhead. So we can pull in a little bit down there. Very nice. Whew. I'm out of breath. It's hard to breathe this head cold. But we are almost to the top, which is our lunch stop at the shelter up top. So, doing good, doing good. Here we are at the turnoff. Trail resumes down there. This is our lunch stop, the Darlington Shelter. All right, says so it's 200 yards. So, let's run back here, get some lunch and water, and then we'll press on. I'll bring you back when we get to the shelter. All right, so here's an inside look at the Darlington shelter. Just finished having lunch, got water. Of course, it was not close, but it was flowing and cold. This one's got two sets of bunk beds, an extremely large called Taj Mahal Privy, right down there. It's literally the size of a tool shed that they've turned into a privy. And picnic table. And here's the nameplate. Darlington Shelter. And about to head back out the trail. Push north. 
We've got a destination in mind, so we'll see if we make it. Bring you back then. Right, so finished up lunch, made her climb down, started our second climb. This here is our water source. Oh, and I am going to hydrate up and take a short break before I finish this big climb. Very nice. Too bad I wasn't stealth camping here. There's a nice spot right over there. Stealth spot. Stealth camp. Alright. And that's the trail. Just a quick hydrate water stop. We'll be back when we get to the top with the view. All right, here we go. We're gonna chance it and check the view out. This is the gas line opening. Kind of like a power line, but no power lines. It's a buried gas line. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's a lake or that's the river. Heck, that could be Susquehanna River out there as far as I know. That is gorgeous though. All right, that was worth it. Let's get a quick punch in. See the water out there, big body. All right, well, there she is. She's showing another view. <laughs> it's late in the day. I'm normally at camp by now, but we're gonna decide to push the town. So this is Hawk Rock view. And straight down, you can see, see one of the streams, the creeks, the rivers, whatever you wanna call them. They're small up here. But right out there is a big river. That's Susquehanna. And there's town right down there, so we're uh, we're about a mile out, downhill, still playing with these damn rocks. You know I hate them; they're a killer on the feet and knees. But only one thing to do: push north and get rid of them. So let's get down to town, get a cold drink. We'll be back for end of day wrap up. See you guys soon. Well, here we are, coming out of the woods. For the last time today, here we go. Let's get on these steps. Oh, rocks, rocks, rocks. All right. All right, now we have a, oh, there we go. A short road walk into town, into Dun Cannon. It's probably pronounced wrong. Oh well, I'm a southerner. It is what it is. And uh, we need a cold drink and a shower and some food. I know it seems like we're hostile hopping, but just the way the mileage worked out today. Do a decent day and went from one town to the next. No need to stay on trail. Make the food bag go that much further. Yeah, we're still carrying it, but that's all right. All right, I'll bring you back when we get closer down. You don't want to see none of this, but we are out of the woods. All right, downtown Duncannon. Here's the outfitter, kind of outdoorsy. They do have the hostel out back. Showing an arrow to the right. Also showers, Wi-Fi, all that. Right over here on the corner, 
sticking out is the Doyle Hotel. It's been part of this town forever, I guess. And uh, now it is a through hiker central collection point. Congregation, I guess. Congregating little spot. Oh, I'm wore out. So let's go in here and see if we can get a, get a single for the night. If not, I'll have to go right back there real quick before they close to the outfitter. See if they got a bunk available. Alright, uh, it's a bar and restaurant so I'm not going to film inside. Alright, good evening everybody. Welcome to end of the day wrap up for day 94. I know yesterday's wrap up we were at a hotel. Today's wrap up we're at a hostel. Well, we're kind of in a hotel actually. It's the Doyle Hotel. You can see the room. I got a one, one room, but it's a hostel price, $25. It's a full size bed and uh, just old school hotel. There's no anything. There's one outlet, a fan behind me, and look up, look up. There we go. There's a ceiling fan. So uh, just got a shower, got cleaned up, got some clothes rinsed out. I'm not doing laundry because you have to go down the laundromat. I'm not messing with none of that. And we're pushing out of here first thing in the morning, so it was just a, a cheap overnight town town night stop. I don't need any supplies, so we're good on all that. I had dinner downstairs, had one cold beverage, and uh, getting ready to do the end of the day wrap up. So let's get get you into the book, show you the big mile day, and get this closed out so we can get some rest and move forward tomorrow, pushing north. So here we go with the book. All right, we started our morning right there at US Route 11, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And we pushed north, and we had quite a bit of miles and nice flat farmland that we just rolled through. Kept rolling, kept rolling, lots of road crossings, kept moving. Got to the bottom of the page, that showed, there's the tunnel right there. Pennsylvania 944, the tunnel, we went through that little, under, under through that little walk-through tunnel. So let's turn the page. There we go, and we started our climb. Got that big first climb up out of the way. Got to our lunch shelter, the Darlington shelter right there. That was at mile marker 1138.2. Went in, had lunch. I did the long Blue Blaze Trail to go get water. And then uh, pushed on out of there, came downhill. Some more, there we go, some more road crossings. And then started our second hill climb. And it seemed like it was never going to end. It got rocky. And that's when the rock started. So after the, during the second hill climb and the whole ridge was just a rocky, rocky afternoon. There's the Cove Mountain Shelter. Pushed on past that. There's Hawk Rock. Got some good pictures of Hawk Rock. Hang on. <coughs> Let me get a drink. Ooh. Let's try that again. There's Hawk Rock with a good views and picture from Hawk Rock. And then we started the big rocky staircase descent. All the way down into town of Duncannon. So we ended up here on day 94 at mile 1149.5. Excuse me. In the middle of downtown at High Street and Broadway for a total of 17.6 miles. And we are at the Doyle Hotel for the night. And we're going to push north through town out of here tomorrow. Oh, sorry about that. Apologize. Look, I got a popcorn kernel in my throat. <laughs> Just won't go away. It's a hard scratch. Oh. So sorry about all that. I'll try and clean that up. Um, but we are here. We're rested. Got new shoes the other day. New shoes are working great. Feet are still sore, but... The injuries are healing and they're not inflamed anymore and they're not acting up. It's just sore feet for the mileage. Other than that, body's feeling good. Weather was uh <coughs> <coughs> weather held out pretty good today. It wasn't too hot and humid. It did get a little sticky late in the afternoon and we did a long I did a long push, so 
It was after five when I got in here, so that's humidity time. So hopefully I get an early start tomorrow, beat some of this weather, do a mid mid normal mileage day, and uh, rest up at a shelter. Other than that, I want to say thank you to all of you for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying it. I am Kilt. We are through hiking the Appalachian Trail going northbound in 2021. If you want to see more, stick around tomorrow. I hope you do. I'm enjoying the trip so far, so good. We're healthy as hell can be, and we're pushing north. So if you want to see more, come back tomorrow morning with a fresh cup of coffee. I'll be here, and I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.